and welcome to Friday Morning Live. You're here with Samantha Knapp, and I would like to tell you about uh, Winnipeg teen that got time served for a random gang-motivated killing. At 14 years old, a boy was charged with a gang-related killing of a 23-year-old man of the name Joseph McCord. The teen had stabbed him twice in the chest. Joseph McCord was approached by two members of the Central Street Gang. Since McLord was wearing a white bandana, the accused thought he was part of a rival gang. The victim then took off the bandana to show he was not part of any gang. One of the teens pulled out a knife and stabbed him in the chest called Mind of There had been three witnesses of this attack. There was an 8-year-old, a 10-year-old, and a 7-year-old. The 14-year-old had previously pleaded guilty to second-degree murder and received a maximum youth sentence of four years in jail and three years of community supervision. The judge agreed that the board did not need any more jail time. He had received three years of community supervision. The Crown Attorney had then put him in custody for nine months. While in custody, he has been involved in ten violent and abusive incidents, including two hour standoff with jail staff. He has an overwhelming propensity for violent outbursts, and when those outbursts happen, no one is safe, Rick, Rick Cott said. He was then redeemed a lowest free offender. So now we want to hear your opinions on it. Hey, welcome to Friday Morning Live. We're interviewing Tegan Warbeck here about a criminal youth justice case. Tegan, do you believe that the youth should have been sentenced to a longer period of time, or do you think he had a proper punishment? I do believe that he should have been punished for longer, but his acts were very worse. Do you think this 14-year-old boy is a lower security offender, or do you think he's going to commit more crimes in his future? I believe he's going to commit more crimes in his future due to what he did in his past. I could agree to that. If, in your opinion, do you think he should be sentenced as an adult, or do you believe he was fairly trialed as a youth? I believe he should be sentenced as an adult. Jordan right. Field, <laughs> Team Warwick, and we're out. How would you go to the How would you sentence the youth? Well, I think that the judge needs to look at all of the behaviors that led up to this point, and what he's been doing as a gang member, I think that he should be sentenced at least as a young offender with another four years for the same crime that he committed for the first time, and he got a four-year sentence. Uh, but I think, and this leads into your final question, but he should have been tried as an adult the second time because he obviously has committed some violent crimes in his past, and he doesn't seem to have been rehabilitated the first time around, so uh, I think that, yeah, it definitely should have been a much harsher sentence than, oh, this boy doesn't need to be in prison anymore. Alright, do you think the 14-year-old boy is a low risk to reoffend, or do you think he's going to commit more crimes in the future? I think the article itself tells us that he's a very high risk to reoffend because he did reoffend uh, after he spent his four-year sentence for the first time he killed somebody. And then he reoffended with the same violent type of crime. And then when he was being held in custody, he reoffended ten times in there in violent nature type crimes. So uh, I think he's a very high risk. And if something isn't done, and he's just set on his merry way again as a low risk offender with uh, with limited supervision, I think that he's a very high risk to reoffend. If you were the judge in this case, how would you sentence him? I would have sentenced him to a long period of time, um, as it seems like he was a uh, caused a lot of problems when he was in jail, and I believe he should have got a longer sentence. Okay, do you think this 14-year-old boy is a lowest to reoffend, or do you think he will commit more crimes? I think he'll commit more times just based on the um, um, how the troubles they had with him inside the jail and how he caused so many problems. Uh, within the jail cell, I believe he's a high risk to reoffend. Okay, in your opinion, do you think he should have been sentenced as an adult? Yes, I do believe he, he should have been sentenced as an adult, as he stabbed someone and took somebody's life, and I, um, uh, and that's the problem with our justice system today is the um, sentences don't um, don't meet the crime. And that's the problem with our justice system today. That's my opinion. Your opinion, if you were the judge in this case, how would you sentence him? Uh, I would give the youth more time. Uh, I feel like three years in jail and three years of community service is enough. But including the nine months, I feel like we should have an extra year. 
Okay. In your opinion, do you think this 14-year-old is a low risk to reoffend, or do you think he will commit more crimes? Uh, based on his like record, I, I I think by the time he's out, I think he'll start committing more crimes. Not major crimes like the one he just commit, but more minor crimes. Okay. In your opinion, do you think he should have been sentenced as an adult? Uh, for 14 years old to murder someone, you obviously know what you're doing, so he should have been sentenced as an adult, or at least given a more severe trial. In your opinion, if you were the judge in this case, how would you sentence him? I think I would have put, uh, put him in jail longer because I think he needed to be punished longer. I think he deserved to have more community service instead of more freedom. freedom. Do you think this 14-year-old boy is a low-risk to reoffend, or do you think he'll commit more crimes in his future? I think he'll commit more crimes in his future because, considering what he did in his past, I think it's possible that he's going to do it again and more people are going to get hurt. In your opinion, do you think he should have been sentenced as an adult, or do you think he had a fair trial as a youth? I think he should be sentenced as an adult, at least get a couple more years or more community service, because after what he did, especially if you don't want him to do it again, he needs to learn his lesson. Overall, everyone that we interviewed all agreed that he needed more harsher punishments. They thought he needed more jail time for him to not harm anyone else and be rehabilitated. There was also a general consensus that the youth was going to reoffend.